Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 16th C-Sharp tutorial. Um, today we're going to be discussing interfaces. Uh, I understand interfaces sound kind of big and spooky, but trust me, they're pretty easy. So let's just say add class, and we're going to make a new class, and we're just going to leave it as class 1. And now we want to add a new item, and choose interface. Now on the interface, um, let's just leave it as interface 1, just the default for now. And let's just say void do stuff. Oops, and let's move this down here. Now, you notice how that looks like a function, but we're not actually implementing it. We don't have the brackets in here. Well, the reason why is because an interface is simply a contract. It's saying if you're going to implement this interface, you will have the things inside of it do stuff and then we will just say and you can have multiple things in here we'll say do stuff again and these are just function names and let's add a new item let's add another interface leave it as interface 2 I'm going to say void do more stuff and you can add pretty much you know as many things as you want in here now, remember, an interface is not a class. An interface is different in the fact that you don't actually implement anything. You just create an outline of what you want it to do, saying, if you're going to have interface 1, it will have do stuff and do stuff again. What does this mean? Well, you know, here's our class 1, and you know about inheritance. Well, if you want to implement an interface, you would say interface. You notice how there's interface 1 and 2 interface 1 and you can right click and implement interface and then into, in, implement, yeah, implement interface explicitly now if you implement interface it just says add these items so let's delete these right click again and do it explicitly and it says interface 1 dot do stuff now the differences between those two is a little obscure but really all you need to understand at this point is that an interface is a contract and there are multiple ways of having that contract because if your class has interface 1 it is in effect interface 1 I know that sounds confusing but really at this point just implement the interface so it's a part of your class now one thing you can do with interfaces you cannot do with inheritance is you can have multiple interfaces just uh, put a comma and then say interface 2 and then right click and implement interface see there's do more stuff that's from interface 2 now you see these throw not implemented exemptions throw means it's going to create an error and then it's going to create a not implemented exemption class so it really just means if you try to call that you haven't implemented it it's gonna crash your program it does that to get your attention so that is one way you would get around the multiple inheritance block that C Sharp does not have. You use interfaces or contracts. Now, if we go to run this, let's actually say class one, C class equal new class one. And you see how we have all these properties in or all these functions in here let's actually try to call one of these I just want to show you what this exemption here does and wait for it dramatic explosion there we go throw new not implemented it says this method or operation is not implemented it's just their way of saying hey you gotta fill this in so let's click that little stop button now what happens let's just get rid of that so we don't crash our program again if you don't implement an inf interface fully like let's get rid of uh, do stuff and do stuff again so we're missing out everything in interface one even though we've said we're going to have interface we've agreed to this contract what do you think is going to happen we got to run this program we're just creating an instance of this class well it says there were build errors and it says do stuff again not implemented do stuff not implemented so that is what an interface does. It says if you're going to implement an interface, 
you are agreeing, you are promising beyond a shadow of a doubt you will implement that interface. This would be very good for, say, a plug-in a system. Let's say you want to make uh, any sort of application that has plugins. For example, Firefox web browser has plugins. It has an interface you have to follow that guarantees that every plugin is going to have functions that can be called. Um, don't get too caught up in the semantics of interfaces. At this point, I just want you to understand that interfaces exist and that you can use them because we will use them in real world programming. And interfaces also allow you to implement multiple interfaces so you can get around the multiple inheritance problem. The problem with that though is that you have to create the code every single time because an interface you cannot implement it, you can only declare it. Whew, that's a mouthful. Well this is Brian, thank you for watching. I hope you found that educational and entertaining.